What's up, TD Nation? On episode 31 of the TD Nation Kickstart Show, we talk about gluten and how to make the best home gym. What's up, TD Nation? Welcome to episode 31 of the TD Nation Kickstart Show. I'm really excited uh, to talk to you guys today. Got a lot of shout outs to give. Our boot camp is just killing it. Everybody in the TD Nation health and fitness group is killing it. We've got so much exciting things going on for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't seen, the TD Nation shirts, 2016 shirts, are up and out. Um, we've only got one option in the men's shirts or unisex shirts, one option in the women's shirts because for those of you coming to the TD Nation retreat in April, we want everybody to have the same shirts on. So uh, pick up, pick that up. Um, we've got hoodies in a bunch of different colors uh, because sometimes in April here it's a little chilly so we know you guys need hoodies. We're not going to do a separate um, TD Nation retreat shirt just because I want to keep the cost down for you guys. Um, due to the amount of interest, we were able to keep the prices real low on the shirts. So like, I think $16.50 a piece, where in the past it had been like $22. So, um, so I'm really excited everybody wants a TD Nation shirt. That really helps with the cost. Um, so we've got those up. Uh, I've been doing great. Um, just killing my workouts. I'm down 6 pounds um, since January 1st. So uh, moving right along, using the TD Nation ebook meal plan, um, I, I'm really loving it. I know our TD Nation boot camp group's loving it because uh, they're getting to enjoy things like mac and cheese and, and cheesecake and things that normally wouldn't be in a quote-unquote healthy diet. But um, as you guys know, you know, we're trying to teach you how to make this a lifestyle and fit foods into your diet um, that you enjoy so that you're not just eating chicken, broccoli, and rice every day. And uh, the the results that were coming out of our first group are just amazing, so I'll read those off. Um, the next boot camp, for those of you guys that missed the first one, our next boot camp is going to start February 29th. So I'm going to give um, everybody a couple weeks to get into the next one um, and, and just give us a little bit of time to promote it. Uh, but we'll kick the next one off February 29th. Um, if you guys didn't see today, I posted... February challenge. We're going to start that on Sunday and I'm going to be giving away a prize, uh, basically Beachbody performance line sample pack and five days of Shakeology. So super pumped about that. Um, I think it's going to be a blast guys. We've got tons of crazy stuff on there like, uh, you know, post your goofy face, post chugging water, post push-ups, all kinds of stuff. Uh, post a picture of yourself in TD Nation shirt. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, at the end of February, um, all the coaches are just going to vote on who their favorite person was. And you don't have to post every day. Um, so don't feel like, oh, if you don't have a TD Nation shirt, you're not going to be able to win the prize. That's not the case. Um, we're just going to pick the funniest you know, person who is the most involved every day. Just something to do, something fun to do um, and help us get to know one another. I mean, you know, TD Nation is a fitness family. Um, and, and we just want to get to know everybody and this is a way to get people active and participating in the group. So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, all right, so I'm going to give some shout outs, but first I want to answer, um, some questions that came in and boot camp. Um, this first one came from, uh, Jennifer, um, she probably saw my Snapchat too, where, um, I actually got a snap, uh, over the week or last week where somebody had wanted to know if they should go gluten-free and said that, um, you know, one of her family members told her that, that she needed to go gluten-free to lose weight. 
And, you know, I kind of got the picture that maybe their family member had no idea what they were talking about. And since gluten is such a buzzword at the moment and, you know, just a billion dollar industry, um, the companies are really promoting gluten free products. A lot of people don't know what gluten is, have no idea. They just know that it's being related to health food. So a lot of people are trying gluten free stuff when they don't know what it is. So let's talk about gluten today. Um, as far as what gluten is, it's just a general term for two types of protein that is contained in wheat. And um, some people, like 1% of the population, have what's called celiac disease, um, where they cannot tolerate wheat, the protein in wheat. For that 1%, they absolutely need to go gluten-free. Um, what I want to make sure you guys know is that gluten-free doesn't necessarily mean healthier. When a lot of people go gluten-free, um, they start missing certain vitamins and minerals from their diet and not as much fiber. So don't just think because you're going gluten-free that you're going to a healthier diet. That's not the case. There's also like 0.5% of the population that has a wheat intolerance. Um, and there's no way to test for that, I don't believe. There is a way to test for, um, for celiac disease. So if you think that you're somebody who can't tolerate gluten, see your doctor so they can test you for it. And then they can put you on a gluten-free diet. Um, you know, there's another certain part of the population that has a gluten intolerance. Although I've seen recent studies where they've examined people who think they have a gluten intolerance and it's kind of like a placebo effect where they actually were giving them gluten but telling them they were gluten free and they said they felt better so I don't know how much of that is real and how much of that is in your head um, but I will say you know if if it's in your head and you feel better without gluten then fine whatever just make sure you're getting the right vitamins minerals and fiber in your diet um, but again we're talking about a very very small percentage of the population guys most people are going gluten free have no idea what gluten is and, um, and and are just doing it because it's a buzzword at the moment and companies are marketing the crap out of gluten free products uh, but for the for the majority of the population you do not need to go gluten free and that's what I really wanted to stress today kind of let you know what gluten is um, encourage you that if you think you have a gluten intolerance or you have celiac disease to just go see your doctor and let them figure it out because I get questions all the time should I go gluten free will gluten free help me and I just don't know um, I'm a personal trainer I'm not a doctor so you guys need to just go see your doctor about that um, and I just wanted to help you guys understand what gluten is just because the majority of the population has no idea what gluten is and they're all just going gluten free because it's the cool thing to do um, and in fact, it's it's not necessarily the healthiest thing to do. But again, if you have celiac disease, absolutely go. You have, you need to go gluten free. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that is a great question. We get it all the time. I've even seen some posts about people going gluten free and saying it helped them. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Um, again, I don't know. I think the jury's still out on the people who have who think they have a gluten intolerance. Uh, some people legitimately do, but I think there's a lot that it may just be in your head. So, uh, But again, if it's in your head and, and you want to go gluten-free, go gluten-free. All right. Um, <laughs> Candace asks, what's the best equipment to start a home gym? Um, as you guys know, I'm a personal trainer. I train at a gym. I think having a personal trainer is a wonderful thing, but personal trainers aren't necessarily cheap. Neither is being part of a gym. That's why we love Beachbody products because you can do them in your own home. You don't have to pay gym fees. You don't have to pay personal trainer fees. Um, and you can do all these programs. You can lose weight. You can transform your body doing it in the comfort of your own home. A lot of people that sign up for gym memberships end up not going because they're just too embarrassed to go to the gym. They think people are judging them. Um, in fact, you know, if I'm being perfectly honest, when I'm at the gym, a lot of, a lot of people at the gym really piss me off because there's a lot of judging going on and and it makes me mad that you know these people are in the gym trying to improve their lifestyle their quality of life trying to be better and there's some jackass that's that's judging them um, really really irritates me it's one of my biggest pet peeves um, so that's why beach body programs are you know why so many people want them because they want to stay in their comfort of their own home and do their workouts and not be criticized or not be judged um, so, what's the best equipment to start your home gym? Uh, bands, fit, you know, resistance bands are great and cheap. You can pick those up. 
anywhere. Um, you can pick them up on your Team Beachbody site. Um, dumbbells, you can get dumbbells. You know, dumbbells in stores are a little bit more expensive. Um, I have Select Techs 552s, which go up to 52 pounds, and the 1090s, which go up to 90 pounds. Um, I got both of my sets off of deals off Craigslist. Um, the 1090s I got with the stand for 300 bucks. So you got to find a good deal um, on uh, you know Craigslist or at garage sales from somebody who had every intention of working out, just unfortunately didn't find TD Nation and didn't have the motivation to keep going. And, and you can find barely used dumbbells at garage sales or on Craigslist. Um, you can find the individual dumbbells at all kinds of garage sales. So, you know, starting off with a set of, um, of fives, tens, and fifteens is probably more than enough for somebody doing a, uh, a beach body program, especially like P90X or Body Beast, because the repetitions are so high, you don't need a lot of crazy high weights. Um, uh, a pull up bar, pull up bars are really cheap. You know, you can get those for 20, 25 bucks. You can find those on your Team Beach Body account, or Walmart has them. Um, and a bench, um, and I picked up my bench for like the first bench I had, I picked up for $25 at a garage sale. So you guys can do all this. Just pick up little pieces as you go. And eventually, you know, you'll have a gym like mine. I didn't buy everything in my gym at once. I just slowly purchased things over time. And, and now I have an incredible home gym. Um, and I don't need to pay a gym membership. Um, and you know, my entire weight loss transformation, all 75 pounds was done in my living room with dumbbells up to, I think I had up to 25 pounds, um, and a pull-up bar, and that was it. And I used P90X, um, and that's that's how I transformed my body. So um, that's all you need. Great questions. All right, let's get into um, weight loss. Um, weight loss this week. I want to give a few shout-outs. We are wrapping up our first boot camp of 2016. I am so proud of this group. They just completely rocked it. Um, and, and weight loss across the board. I just, there's a couple people that didn't lose or haven't lost weight. And what I want to really stress to you guys is you guys need to reach out to your coaches. If you're struggling, if you haven't lost weight, um, if you're, you know, if you're not losing weight and you're in that level one or level two of the TD nation ebook, the next time you go through boot camp, you need to drop it. So if you were at level three, now go to level two. If you were at level two, now go to level one. If you were at level one and you did not lose weight and you followed the plan as it was written and you followed the um, rest day menu on rest days and the training day menu on training days and you didn't lose weight, talk to your coach. We need to talk to you about reverse dieting and we need to help you improve your metabolism so you can effectively lose weight. So you know, don't think that if you didn't lose weight in this first round that it's a wash and that you wasted your time. Absolutely not. If you guys didn't lose weight and you went through boot camp, um, we're, we're finding answers. We're figuring it out, which is great. And, you know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So we don't expect you to have everything figured out in four weeks. That's why when you buy the boot camp and you pay your $25, you get to participate in boot camp for the entire year. Um, it's really just, I mean, we tried to give you guys as much value and make it a, as incredible of a deal as possible and make sure that it would help you as much as possible. So if you've bought the ebook and you've went through boot camp once, Keep going through it. We will get it figured out if you didn't lose weight. Um, with that being said, let me congratulate some of our biggest weight loss losers. Um, Andrea Lease is down 10 pounds in the first three weeks. John Lambert is down 9.2. Linda Boykin is down 7.5. Matt Stuckey is down 9. Rod Lytle is down 10. April Nettleton is down 6. Amanda Bartelt is down 7.2. Lisa Korolski is down 12 pounds. Justin Hayes is down 10. And Jacob Sweeney is down 10. So congratulations, guys. You're doing amazing. This is our fourth week, so I'm interested to see how it goes after the fourth week. Um, and I just look forward to, to more fun. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure that you're communicating with your coaches so that they can continue helping you guys. Um, and please, I, I cannot wait for this February challenge. Make sure you participate. Let, all you got to do is look up at the banner, look at the date. We start on the 7th, so the 7th is Super Bowl. Um, take some you know, pictures at your Super Bowl party or of your Super Bowl spread um, and post those and let everybody know how you did on Super Bowl Sunday. Um, if you're Canadian and don't know what the NFL is, 
take a picture at your hockey game. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Every day we're going to be doing something new. There'll be, a, you know, just look up at the banner, see what that day is. Um, you know, on Valentine's Day, I think it's uh, take a pic of the love of your life. Um, and that doesn't have to be, you know, if you're single, that could be your pet. If you, um, Maybe it's chocolate. I don't know. Um, it can be anything. But just be creative. Have fun. This is for us to get to know you guys. Um, I think we've got a day where... Um, there's videos for dancing, so hopefully some people will post videos dancing. I can't wait for that. Um, you know, I think on, on uh, the end of February, we've got leapfrogging over stuff. So, you know, all kinds of fun stuff, just to keep it fun and, and, uh, and have everybody laughing at one another. So, um, I love you guys. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being a part of TD Nation as usual. And uh, if you need help with anything, please reach out to me and let us know. Have a wonderful week, guys. Bye.